Hello, and welcome to an update here from the mayor's office uh, on this beautiful sunny February. Even though it's cold, it's beautiful outside. I hope you're getting outside and enjoying the winter season. Uh, so a few updates. Uh, one is uh, a process that I'm super excited about. Uh, so if you remember, about mid last year, the city commission, we allocated some dollars to create a participatory budgeting process. And so what we did is we allocated $2 million, uh, a million for the third ward, 600,000 for the first ward, 400,000 for the second ward. And we appointed a, a body, a oversight committee, recommendation committee, a steering committee as you may call it, uh, to come up with a process to provide the community and opportunities to submit ideas and then to identify which ideas were the most popular in those neighborhoods through a voting process. And so they have been hard at work. I wanna thank all of the members of the steering committee. They put in a lot of work into this process. We've worked with the national organization that helps cities create a participatory budgeting process. And uh, just last week, uh, the portal or the website was launched uh, and we are now accepting ideas. So if you have ideas on how you think that $2 million should be spent. If you have ideas on what you would like to see in your neighborhood, I encourage you to go to grpb.com and you can find out more about the process. Uh, there are some eligibility requirements, although they're pretty minimal. Please submit your idea and, uh, and then we will work through a process over the next several months to give individuals an opportunity to vote on those ideas. So the portal's open, uh, eager to take ideas from you, from the community. It'll be open for the next several months and then we'll start to go through and vet those ideas and then identify the top ones and then we'll be voting on those. My hope is that those dollars are allocated and invested in our neighborhoods and our community uh, really by the end of this year. I'm excited to see what ideas come to the come to the table uh, and I really am eager to have the community as actively involved in deciding how your dollars should be spent in your neighborhood. A um, couple other updates. Uh, it was just a couple days ago that we were notified from the uh, a national organization that great cities based on our dedication and work around being uh, energy efficient and sustainable. It's called the City Clean Energy Scorecard. They put it out every year. Uh, we submit a lot of information and we were ranked 31st. So we moved up a couple years ago, we were at 38, then we we're at 33, now we're at 31st uh, in comparison to cities all over this country. Uh, and what it shows is our dedication and hard work as we continue to be a green and sustainable community. So they look at things like building policies, some of our uh, local government operations, our own energy usage, transportation policies, um, our community initiatives, and we're ranked against other cities. And so I'm really proud that the city of Grand Rapids that we're in the, the top 33% of all the cities that were that were analyzed and we'll continue to do our part to move up that list, but more importantly, we're gonna to continue to do our part to try to reverse climate change. Um, related to that work, uh, recently we, we launched the C4 or Community Collaborative on Climate Change. The city will be a partner in that work with community members, community organizations to do all that we can as a community to reverse climate change. And part of that will be to create a climate mitigation and adaptation plan. So I'm eager to see that work move forward. Really appreciate all of our community partners who are working hard in that space. And then just a, a couple final thoughts. Uh, many of you know I have a Mayor's Youth Council made up of incredible high schoolers. I do this every single year. I work with about anywhere from 25 to 35 students uh, throughout the entire school year. I meet with them often, do projects with them, and just recently they launched a winter coat drive in partnership with our Grand Rapids Public Library. So they'll be uh, taking donated coats uh, and then they'll be identifying young people in our city that could use those coats. So I just really appreciate the young people that I get to work with, but also their commitment to community service and to supporting their friends and their peers throughout the city who um, may need a little support right now. Uh, another big announcement I'm sure you've heard is that our city manager recently uh, identified who our next police chief will be. So I want to welcome Eric Windstrom to the city of Grand Rapids. He comes to us from Chicago with a long history in law enforcement. He'll start in early March, so hopefully you'll get a chance to meet him. Uh, but I hope that you will join me in welcoming him to Grand Rapids. 
And then in closing, uh, we are in February, still winter. I hope you're embracing it. World of Winter is still going strong downtown a lot of great exhibits uh, and this upcoming weekend which is Valentine's Day they'll be launching Valentice so if you haven't experienced that in the past it's a really fun event there will be ice sculptor ice sculptures uh, all around downtown uh, that you can can walk around and see and take pictures in front of um, many of them are absolutely stunning just beautiful pieces of art uh, so I hope that you get out and enjoy that and most of all most importantly, I should say, I hope you are staying safe and healthy uh, and that you are reaching out if you need help, especially during these uh, somewhat challenging times that we're still navigating through. So enjoy February and happy Valentine's Day.